What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Outdoors with Creed. Uh, thank you to everybody who has subscribed, supported my channel since I've started it. I believe I've been doing this going on two and a half years now, and I've had a lot of fun uh, since then. I've had a lot of great companies that have partnered with me, and without them, I think this would be really hard for me to do so thank you to all of those that uh, agreed to partner with me or I guess I should say thank you for allowing me to partner up with you uh, this is a great experience I feel that I am truly blessed to have this opportunity because for so long I've always had the belief that you had to either have some kind of money to do stuff like this you know when I grew up you had to have some kind of a major network TV show to get this kind of information out and now it's a little bit easier with YouTube and stuff so that's what I've been doing and again thank you to all of those thank you for those who have subscribed to this channel if you haven't subscribed go ahead click that button now subscribe uh, smash the thumbs up if you like the videos and leave comments the reason for this uh, actually first I am out here on Sunset Lake here in Benton, Arkansas, where I live. And one of the reasons for this video is because I had done a video a while back saying that if I ever made it to 100 subscribers, I would do a real giveaway with one of my uh, partnership companies, Six Gear. And I am very excited to announce this that last night I officially hit 100. When I looked at it today, I was actually at 101. So I've actually went one over my goal. So I am super, super excited about that. So as I promised, once I hit 100 subscribers, I would be doing a real giveaway. And so here it is, the six kill Cyclone Reel. Now, this is not the setup that I will be sending out to whoever wins. This is actually my brother's setup. I went and borrowed his because I knew he had one of these six gear reels. So real quick, the one that he has, it is a six to one gear ratio, which is the reel I'm gonna be giving away. Uh, upon announcing the winner, when you message me back to confirm that you are the person, let me know if you want a right hand retrieve or left hand retrieve and the difference in that is, where the, let me get it in there, where the reel is at. This is a right hand retrieve. I have to use my right hand to actually crank the reel. Left handed retrieve is gonna be on the opposite side, so that's the only difference. So whenever I contact the winner about uh, announcing that they are the winner, please let me know if you want a right hand or left hand uh, retrieve reel. Uh, of all the cyclones that I have, what makes this reel different, one is the design on mine, it just says minimum and max, and it has the dial. This one actually has numbers. Uh, if you can see that there, it actually has numbers. So you'll actually be able to tell when you have your uh, magnetic brake set what number you're at. That way you'll know where your sweet spot is at. Also, let me show you this real quick. With these new Cyclone reels, this one is a single but the one that I had, the magnetic brake, that magnet in there, mine was just uh, five little round magnets. This one is a full, well, I ain't going to say full, but it's a crescent shape. Now, they do have magnets you can get that is the full uh, circle for your reels. And I believe that is either with just certain uh, reels or it might be an option that you can add to your reels when you order them so that's just something uh, you can do whenever you go to six gill and order your reels what I am actually gonna do for those of you that haven't seen my other video I made this announcement what I'm actually gonna do is you're gonna get a full combo setup you're gonna get the six gill cyclone reel 6-1 gear ratio, you pick right hand or left hand. I am also going to send a 6 gear Sega rod, 7 foot medium heavy action rod. That's that kind of all, all around in the middle sweet spot uh, for a rod for fishing. You can do everything with that rod. Texas rig, Carolina rig, 
uh, throw your crankbaits, uh, your spinner baits, your swim jigs, bladed jigs. I mean, you it's pretty much that all around workhorse rod. Pair it up with a six, uh, six three to one gear ratio. That's kind of that middle to low speed. I'll put it that way. Middle to low speed, depending on the brands that you might be used to using, six, uh, six to one gear ratio is more of their slower side. But to me, that's that kind of, again, in the middle, good beginner spot on fishing. But a lot of the professionals that I watch they all use a six to one gear ratio because it plays it has its it has its part in their arsenal so i'm going to send you a six three to one gear ratio cyclone reel you will get the seven foot medium heavy sega rod i'm also going to add the ceramic ball bearing upgrade to the reel if the new reels do not come with a six gear reel cover i will also throw that in as well as if they have them in stock a six gear rod sleeve so you are going to get a complete setup rod and reel plus the rod sock the reel cover and the bearings to make this a much much more smoother casting reel i have not got to throw this reel because like i said all of my sega reels that i have are the are the the first generations that they had and I've kind of switched all of my stuff over to the uh, Creus reel I'll do another video to explain all that or I'll have to check my archive I think I've already done one I have to check and see if I haven't I'll throw that one in there and if you guys have any comments that you'd like to throw in there about the difference between uh, the six gill cyclone reel and the six gill uh, Creus reel or any other reel throw the comments down there and I will try to get that out there for you but I'm going to throw this and see how smooth it is. I've never got to throw this reel. So my brother has it tied up with a, uh, I cannot think of the name of this lure. It did come from our Monster Bass subscription. It is one of their topwater uh, walking baits. So anybody out there who's also a Monster Bass, hit me up. Remind me. I think it's the Patriot. It's the Patriot. I just don't know which one it is, but it's the Patriot Topwater Monster Bass Walking Bait. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what test pound he's got on there. I don't know what if this is fluorocarbon or a monofilament. I don't know. I'm going to assume monofilament because he's got a topwater on here. But I'm about to jump over here on the water and throw this thing and see how good it is. All right. And I apologize, guys. It is a windy day. And I wasn't really planning on weather playing a part in this. I just kind of decided, you know, I needed to come out and do this since I'm getting ready to do my giveaway. Uh, let's see here. I am messing with his dials because of the wind. Wow, that is really smooth. I didn't get a whole lot of distance on that, which I didn't think I was. I had to tighten down some stuff. The retrieve is really smooth on it. Really good retrieve. It casts really smooth. Well, I got a backlash. Yeah, you don't have to put a whole lot of muscle into it to get it out there. This probably would be a little bit easier on the boat. It's hard fishing the top water on the bank. stick out here that I done hung up on but yeah 
It cashed really good. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try something different. And I was, I'm not really expecting to catch anything, guys, but I'm just going to make a quick little change. Wow, that wind is really blowing. real good flipping or pitching rather I should say now this water is really low y'all where I'm standing the water is usually up to this point again I'm not really expecting to catch anything just testing out this reel That one I put a little oomph on it and it traveled a good distance. down just a little bit wind kind of pushed me over into some bushes so try that again
Ah, that was my fault. I tried to put too much muscle on it. It's too light of a lure. All right, guys, last cast, and then I'm going to get out of here. This stuff back on. Okay, and there you have it, guys. The six gill cyclone reel. This thing cast really good, really, really good, really smooth. I did have a tough time because it is windy, and like I said, I didn't know what all, uh, what kind of fishing line my brother had on here, so that kind of played a part, but uh. Other than that, it casts really good. Once you get it dialed in, it's very easy. It has the uh, tension knob on the right, like all of your standard uh, right-hand retrieve reels. Once you get your lure tied on, my recommendation, reel your lure all the way to the top. Have your tension knob set as tight as it will go. Reel it all the way up to the top. What you want to do then is push the button to disengage it. 
and start backing off that tension knob until the weight of your lure pulls the lure down. Once the lure either hits the ground or if you're out on the boat somewhere and the lure hits the water and you don't get any backlash or the, the, the fishing line starts to run off of the reel, that's about where you want your tension set as far as your, your knob, the tension and your spool. Then you have to play with your magnetic brakes. The more brakes you got on, the less distance you're going to get. The, uh, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. The more brakes you have on, less distance. The least amount of brakes, you're going to get more distance. However, you're going to backlash a little bit easier. So you got to be mindful of that and make sure you use that thumb to spool the, the, the to make sure you spool the, the fishing line to uh, make sure you don't get any backlash. So that's my recommendation on how you set up your reels. Reel your lure to the top. Tighten down your tension knob, hit your button to disengage, back off the tension until the weight of the lure pulls it down. That's about where you want it when you're starting out. If you're much more of an advanced fisherman or you know a little bit more about bait casters, then just do what you normally do to set up your rod and reels for whatever your application is. But again, that's it for the six gill cyclone reel. I will be doing the giveaway. I'm going to say the first weekend in December. I will do a video. I'm not sure if I want to go live yet or not. I might go live, but I'm going to say the first weekend in December is when I'm going to do that video to announce the winner. So make sure you tune in to see if you are the winner. You can either message me back on YouTube. You can message me on Facebook or on Instagram at Outdoors with Creed and let me know your name. You are the winner. I will need your I will need your full name and your address so I can get this mailed to you. At the time I announce it, I think I'm going to do that video at six o'clock, unless I've got something else going on that day, work related or something like that. I will try to do that video at six p.m. Central Time. Six p.m. Central Time. I live in Arkansas, so the Central Time Zone is when I'm going to try to do that. You have 24 hours from the time I announce the winner to contact me to claim your prize. Within 24 hours, if you have not done, if you have not messaged me, I will do it again to see if there is another winner. I will keep doing this until somebody messages me back to say they are the winner. I am also going to throw this in there. Some of my subscribers are family members. If a family member is the winner I will not give it to them because if you want to experience fishing with six gill product I have it so you can jump in the boat with me I will let you try out some of my stuff if you like it then you can order it I don't think it would be fair that if a family member wins my giveaway when they can easily you know fish my stuff now, that's not saying every day you're going to come and fish with my stuff. I'm stingy with some of my equipment, and when it comes to my bass fishing equipment, I'm super stingy. But I will let you try it out if you are thinking about getting you a six-gill setup. So, again, family members, I'm sorry. If you were the winner, I'm not letting you win because I don't think that would be fair. So, I'm throwing that out there. If it is a family member, I am not letting that person be the winner. Everybody else outside of my family, if you are the winner, I need you to respond via YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram at Outdoors with Creed to claim your prize. Upon that, I will let you know in private messages at that point. When I have uh, placed that order and it's being sent out to you, I will keep you updated on the packages and when they should be delivered to you. Once you get them, please let me know message me back let me know how you like it what you think about six gill let me know what you don't like I will pass that on to the guys at six gill because they're working hard every day to get good products out here to fishermen who uh, who love being out here we have professionals on six gills team major league fishing pro Fred Robanis uh, I believe Bassmaster Elite Pro Casey Scanlon Bassmaster Elite Pro, Randy Sullivan. Uh, Major League Fishing Pro, uh, John Murray. We have a lot of guys, top.
top names in the industry who are fishing with six gill equipment and they love it. So if you don't trust me, you don't want to take my word for it, that's fine. Jump on over to sixgillfishing.com. They have videos there of all of their products being used. Also, check out Six Gill Fishing uh, YouTube channel. A lot of those pros are talking about the equipment and setups that they have and how much they like it and how it's helping them put fish in the boat, which in turn for them puts money in their bank accounts. So that's all I got. Y'all please tune in the first weekend in December. Let's get through the holiday, y'all. First weekend in December, I will do the video 6 p.m. Central Time. I will announce the winner at that point. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified every time I do a video. And please hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I'll see you guys on the next one in the great outdoors.